I think I'm just going to call this kit One Man Army. Enough said. Welcome back to my channel. In today's review, I'm going to be doing a Transformers upgrade kit for Siege Hound. And if you're new around here, please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, as it will support it. And if you really like this kit, leave a comment. So, with that being said, let's dive right into this review. And the weapons you get in this weapons kit, it's going to be a modular type. You're going to get this part right here. Looks fantastic. Gunmetal gray. Looks great. A lot of molded detail. Looks fantastic. Get a closer look at that. Looks great. Get the chain gun. I like how they added that right there on the front. Fantastic. Did a great job on this one as well. Nice silver. I'm gonna stand that one up. Makes it a little easier because that tends to roll when you lay it down. Nice molded detail here. And there's a lot of different combinations you can do with this, and I am really excited about this set. And lastly, you get three of these, these uh, five millimeter peg adapters, which you'll need for various combos, which is great. So everything is in gunmetal gray except for the chain gun part. So, so we're going to take a look at combining his original weapons with this set in vehicle mode and in robot mode as well. So there's a lot of variations to it. It's awesome. So we're going to start with this one right here and make sure, you know, put this on. It's one of the more easier ones to do. Let's come over here, peg that in. And then when this piece kind of gets a little wonky there. So that's kind of what you're going to get with this one. Let's bring it a little closer look just to show off. This is where you're going to be looking at just for that. Then what you can do with this, you can take his old weapon and let's see, so I pegged this one in the wrong way, so we're going to flip that around, tap it in just like this, you can fold that into the side, now you can kind of combo that, looks fantastic, a lot of firepower, this peg, this don't tab in great for my figure, so let's bear with me with that. But overall, there's like a lot of nice detail there. A lot of combos already so far, and we're not even done yet. You can also take this piece, fold this in, and now you can have the triple, just with that alone, which is awesome. So there is that. Now, that's not counting any of this stuff. I haven't even touched yet. So what you can do, we're going to remove this, just for now. Remove this. And what you can do with this, and you get three of these pegs. So you're gonna, this one's always gonna be really a tight fit right here, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And then we're gonna do, you're gonna combo this like that, and then go like this. So you can have the the three like this. Then you can take this part off, leave this as a separate weapon standalone for either mode. And you can slap this on, and then you got the chain gun, like a mounted chain gun. So you can bring this over, put this on this side, slide that out of the way. So now I can mount just like this, and it looks pretty cool. Do get some pretty good range, articulation and everything like that. It stays in the peg pretty well. And you do have that peg that can kind of readjust and everything. You just have to adjust the pegs, but they the pegs overall stay really tight for each one to hold it in place and everything. So you got like a side minigun here going. And you can still use this weapon, set it up here. I wish that peg right here would stay, but it's just a minor inconvenience there. You can still combo this like this, or set this down like that. Just remove that for right now. Set that gun down here. Put his uh, gas can back down just like that. And then you can still combo this either here or on the other side right in here, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of variations you can do with that, but a lot of them come with uh, robot mode. There's a little bit more fun with that, and we're gonna get into that in just a moment. And I just wanted to show off for this piece, it is Blast Effect compatible, and I wanted to make sure I showed that off in this video as soon as possible, just to confirm that. There we go, now it's on. 
put this piece down here. This is unfortunately, you know, not. There's nothing you can do about that, but that's not a big deal, especially not in my book with this. This is by far a very cool upgrade kit. Here we have Hound, and we're going to get right into it. The robot mode, well, the adapters, chain gun piece, you can just tie in with this weapon. Looks fantastic. I'm going to give another look at this in robot mode. Hound looks awesome with this. It looks like a P90 to me, for I can remember from playing COD back in the day. But if it's a different weapon, hey, it's just my opinion. I mean, go figure. The Gatling gun attachment with this looks fantastic. Looks great. One thing I'm going to do is just kind of give you a size comparison how big this gun is compared to Hound. So it goes up to about his elbow so far. Looks fantastic. The other thing you can do with this weapon, here's the other piece. So you're going to add the adapters on. And you can add this onto either shoulder. You just have to make a turn adjustment for this. And here's another look at this piece. Looks great. There's the pegs. Then we're going to need this piece right here. And we're going to add this on just like that. Looks fantastic. Got to tab that in to Hound's shoulder. Now he has a chain gun right there. Looks great. And the adjustment is, once I get that pegged in all the way, there we go. It can turn, do a full 360. And it will loosen because it's a peg and then once you turn, you know. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So it looks fantastic from this angle. Looks good. Now if you want to just store it away, it's another nice little feature. You can set it back here. It does make him a little more back heavy, so just be careful with that. But that's just for storage, just for whatever reason. You can still take this, and there's his gun. So Hound is still set for combat and everything like that. Then if you want to just readjust, just turn that around. Do that. Just readjust the pegs because as you more you turn them and everything, they do become loose. But nothing so significant where it hurts this upgrade kit whatsoever. Like I said, I can do a full 360 and angle and everything like that. So you can get some pretty good angle shots from this. So as you're doing that, definitely can fire at a lot of Decepticons and everything like that on a diorama set. Yeah, now as I'm turning it too much, too fast, it will become a little loose. But if you're just controlling it very, very slowly, it will stay there and it won't come out. So, there is that. The other thing you can do, you can still add Hound's weapon right here to that. So you can have some serious firepower. Looks fantastic. The other thing you can do, I know I've said that quite a bit, but there's so many different options for this upgrade kit. So we got to go over them all because this is definitely one of my most favorite upgrade kits so far for this year. Okay, so this piece gets on there and it stays on there really solid. I can't pull this off. Hang on one second. There we go. So what you're going to do, hole here, peg here now, combo, chain gun weapon. Boom, and you got a bigger gun. I'm gonna straighten out Hound. So he's at full height. Take the gun. So it's that high, it's over his shoulder now. It's a big gun, and it has some weight to it. Honestly, there's just as much weight with this gun, almost, to this guy. It's pretty close. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna peg this big gun in here, and it's huge. I mean, what do you, what do, you do with that? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Leave a comment. Yes, and he is kind of getting... It is a little front heavy. Just a little bit. Nothing serious though. It's definitely workable. So we're going to go this route right here. If I can get the peg on. Here we go. Going to bring in Hound's just elbow stuff. Yes. Just like I said. 
I'm gonna bring it in here, I'm gonna readjust that arm and everything like that. So you can hold it with two hands and everything like that. That's just to hold it. That's not to get them into a weapon pose. So what you're gonna do, if I can turn Hound's head, yes. And I'm gonna admit, that's harder to do than putting this weapon together multiple times in a video. I'll just say that for right now. So you're gonna do, so it looks like he's just holding his weapon, just stowing it away, waiting for combat and everything. So you're gonna do, you're gonna lift up on that, you're gonna turn this this way, loosen it up just a little bit, readjust. He's gonna hold it like that. It's gonna turn, it's gonna make that adjust because what that's gonna do, it's gonna give him a little bit more range so he can hold it a little bit different and adjust. And I'll show that off. We're gonna get him on one knee again. And, and you have to adjust this peg back here. So that's why I'm gonna take it off. Readjust, readjust again. And now you can kind of get in one of those poses where he can actually open fire and everything like that. So, and yes, like I said earlier, blast effect compatible. And that is an awesome look to be seeing on a diorama set or just in your collection in general. I think that's really badass. Very, very cool. So that's what you can do. You can stand them up. Get them into that angle, everything like that. So, and turn turn the waist a little bit. Sorry, some of my joints on Hound that I have, they're a little loose, so just bear with me with that. But overall, pretty cool. And this blast effect is aiming like down. So we'll just, you can just turn it from here. There you go. It's pretty cool. So there's that combo. We're going to get rid of this. Thank you, Scorponok. Let me borrow that. Now you can take this weapon and you can combo that on the outside or on the inside. I'm going to put it on the outside. Same thing. You're just going to take the drum mag off, flip it around, turn it around. If I can get that in. There we go. So now you have that combo as well. So you can add a lot of combos to this thing. It's just ridiculous. There's a lot of options there. It's great for any kind of shelf for a hound figure. Nice up, nice weapon upgrade. So that looks awesome. That's a nice shot. My final thoughts on Transformers. Siege Hound Upgrade Kit modular weapon set honestly there's so many different combinations to this weapon set that i couldn't ignore it one i like the colors gunmetal gray for the whole set except for the chain gun part that is silver the nice molded detail they even made sure that was perfect right there the overall molded detail for the rest of the weapons is as follows fantastic the combos awesome there's different variations for vehicle mode and for robot mode there's no other way to you know put it and way to even store this weapon if for some reason he's too big on your shelf now since he is a bit taller you can even do that just temporarily or you can form the big gatling gun which is another nice nod so overall i think this set is awesome I have no negative things for this set whatsoever. This was a nice upgrade set. And like I said, TF Safari, as of this moment, it is not even on their website to order. I'm a little surprised by that. Usually they get in everything, but I know sometimes eBay gets some of the things early and they get to sell it So from those, uh, those sellers. So there could be that. Could be a bunch of things. Who knows? I don't know. I just know that I found it on eBay. There's still some on there. I will leave a link in the description down below if you're interested in arming up Hound or Hotshot. This weapon set is also included to be compatible with this guy as well, which I think I might get something else for him, but that's for another time. So overall, this set is a definite 10 out of 10 perfect set. This is definitely... The best set so far for 2021, in my opinion. And I can't wait to see what else people come up with for 
not just for things we need to upgrade just to get the weapons from the shows or the comic books or something that make it you know show accurate or something like that something thinking outside the box and coming up with a fantastic idea so that's what i'm looking for so thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more transformer content